Elon Musk. News. Now. Roll. The. Intro. Number 10. And it's Henry. Can you still back with your mouth? Your mouth. 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 My name is Wyatt. And I'm McKenna. And welcome to MMS News. Remember, we are focusing on the character traits of MMS. And this month's character trait is trustworthiness. Trustworthiness means a person that is honest and who can be entrusted with anything of importance. Go to the MMS News website and fill out the survey to see your name scroll across the screen. We can't wait to see what kind of trustworthy students we have here at MMS. Now we go to our first story of the week, our MMS News story with Katie and Maya. Hello MMS and welcome back to the upcoming week. I'm Maya and I'm Katie. So let's get started. Alrighty, let's do this. Katie? Yeah? Never mind. No, wait, what? I said never mind. Let's just get started. On Monday there's homework club, MMS news, and student council all at 2.30. On Tuesday at 2.30 there is homework club and drama. On Wednesday there is a 8th grade silver field trip at 8.15 and, and drama at 2.30. On Thursday, there is Guitars for Future Stars, Homework Club, Drama, and Student Council, all at 2.30. And on Friday, there is an Activities Assembly at 1.10, and at 2.30, there is a set day for drama. Bye, MMS. Have, have a great, great day, day and weekend. Maya, what did you want to say? No. We have another exciting update from the Trojan News Center about the happenings around our very halls. Hi, I'm Kenby, and today, me and Allie will be doing a club update. Speaking of Allie, where is she? I'm right here, and today I will be talking about Growth Mindsets Club's theme for this week. This week's theme was to desire learning. Remember not to do this only this week, but all the time. Also, next week's theme is to embrace challenges, so try something new. Speaking of Growth Mindset, here is a video to sh from Growth Mindset Club. Can't talk? Can't walk? Certainly can't do algebra. Adding, reading, riding, riding a bike? Nobody's good at anything at first. There was a time when Einstein couldn't count to ten. And Shakespeare had to learn his ABCs just like the rest of us. Thankfully, we're born to learn. Slowly, surely, you stumble, slip, crawl, fall, and fail, and fall. Frustrating. Confusing, trying, struggling, until one day, you walk. One foot in front of the other, one idea on top of the next, each wrong answer making your brain a little bit stronger. Failing is just another word for growing, and you keep going. This is learning. Knowing that you'll get it, even if you haven't gotten it yet. Because the most beautiful, complex concepts in the whole universe are built on basic ideas that anyone, anywhere, can understand. Whoever you are, wherever you are, you only have to know one thing. You can learn anything. Hey Kenzie, wasn't there something else you wanted to say? Oh right, I almost forgot. On Monday there will be continued acts of kindness. We'll, we'll, where you will get to get two charging bucks and pass one treasure buck to someone who you see doing kindness. On Tuesday, there will be a uh, positive federal day where teachers can refer to a student to office for doing something amazing. This will happen through the months of March and April. Have a great day, MMS. Bye! Let's check in on this special report on another thing you can use all that finished homework for. Today, we're going to make a airplane. Yeah! First up, flip this, this thing like this. Flip, flip this paper here like this. Step two. Step two. Fold it. Flip this, or flip this. Uh, 
There we go. Step two. Flip this again. And flip again. Flip this again. Flip second one. Like this. Like this. Like this. Step four. Flip this one. And now, flip <laughs> this one. And this one. Brendan. There we have it. We made a April plane. Good. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank you. The MMS Drama Guild is gearing up for another production, so let's take a look at this little sneak peek of what's coming. Hello, MMS. We are doing the drama update this week because Kyle is going to do JFO. Yeah. Anyway, if you were at the Celebration of the Arts, you might have noticed the drama club actors there handing out lollipops. The app... The actors you see are the animated snowman, Jedi's, and all the princesses, and a big mean dragon. Oh, and next week there will be drama practice on Thursday if you have the play. Here's a super small preview of the drama play. Why, hello there! I'm an animated snowman <coughs> who in no way resembles a copyrighted... Two, two with fire! Oh, I could have loved you! <laughs> well, anyway, my MMS. Yeah. Can't wait for the MMS drama? Then try out some of this main stage drama with the MMS musical reviewer. Hello, MMS. Today I'm starting away my shot. And by that, I mean I am reviewing Hamilton the musical. Hamilton is a musical about, of course, Alexander Hamilton. The whole musical is the story of Alexander Hamilton, but switches the points of views in different acts of it. Excuse me, are you an sir? That depends who's asking. I love that song anyway. You can see the musical in Chicago. The date is currently unknown though. Goodbye and let's see you next time. The movie reviewers are here and ready to explain the latest feature to be hitting a theater near you. missing in, in London, Romeo and Juliet turn to Sherlock Gnomes for some help. This movie is a sequel to this movie, Romeo and Juliet. The movie features the actors Johnny Depp, Emily Blunt, and James McOvey. This movie is directed by John Stevenson. Make sure to go see this movie on March 23rd. Make sure to go see the Sherlock Gnomes movie in theaters. And have a good weekend. Goodbye, MMS. Peace out from the uh, crew. Need some jams this weekend? Check out our latest top picks with this week's top 10. Hey guys, it's top 10 girls here. Number 10, Perfect by Ed Sheeran. Underneath my breath, but you heard it. Darling, you look perfect tonight. Um, song number nine, I Am by AWOL Nation. Number eight, Young Dumbs and Broke by Kelly. Kelly. Young, young, dumb and broke. Young, dumb. Young, young, dumb and broke. Young, dumb. Young, young, dumb and broke. Song number seven, Nightmare by Set It Off. Number six, Wolf by Selena Gomez and Marshmallow. I've been running through the jungle, I've been running with the wolves to get to you, to get to you. I've been down the darkest alley. 
Song number five, Nightmare by All Time Low. Song number four, It Ain't Me by Kaigo. Song number three, Wake Up by Blackville Bride. Song number two, What About Us by Pink. What about us? What about all the times you said you had the answers? Song number one, The Strays by Sleeping with Sirens. The Strays! Yes. Can't stand to be bored? Then check out these latest YouTubers that just may drive away the boredom. Top of the morning, two laddies. My name is Brooke, and I'm going to be giving you a, the list of top three most popular gamers on YouTube. Number three, for Man Flo, who I think I said that right, who even though only speaks Spanish, is apparently really popular. Number two, El Rubius OMG, who is known for his gaming and comedy sketches. Number one, PewDiePie. Basically, the overlord of YouTube. Okay, that's going a little bit far, but I mean, who hasn't heard of him? If you want me to watch your favorite YouTuber, then email me at bcraft151 at d15.org. This is the YouTuber sign off. Bye bye! Don't want to watch people playing games on YouTube? Then pay attention to this week's game reviewer for a new game you can purchase today. Hey guys, I'm Maxim Schneider. I'm Charlie Miller, and today. And today we're going to be doing a game review. This game we will be re reviewing is Fortnite. Fortnite is a popular game that 3.4 million people are playing. It is a game where you can either play solo, duo, or squads. You start in a big bus and fly across the map. You can choose when to jump and where you go. When, you are, when you're on the ground, you grab guns, and when you die, you have to restart. The last man standing wins number one victory royale. Lee and Ryan are here to give you the lowdown on some of the sports you can expect to see coming this week. Hi guys, it's me, Lee, and Ryan. Today we are going to show you guys the MLB games for the week, so let's get started. Today, the Chicago Cubs are taking on the, Sh the Chicago White Sox. On Saturday, the Houston Astros are taking on the Miami Marlins. On Sunday, the LA Dodgers are taking on the Milwaukee Brewers. On Monday, the Philadelphia Phillies are taking on the Boston Red Sox. On Tuesday, the New York Yankees are taking on the Detroit Tigers. On Wednesday, the Pittsburgh Pirates are taking on the Minnesota Twins. That's all for this week. Bye, Bye MMS. MMS! You sent us myths you wanted busted, so we brought back the myth busters that crack open the truth behind the myths you sent in. Hi, MMS. We're, We're back with more myths to bust. bust. The first myth is we have here is... Do twins think alike? The bust to that is they don't think alike. We have read many in many articles and watched some videos to, to be able to answer this myth. We have finally found enough proof to say that twins don't think alike. On to the second myth. The second myth is... Do twins have the same feelings? The bust to that is, no, they don't. We have found enough evidence to bust that myth. That's all for this week, MMS. Bye, MMS. Bye. <laughs> The fact finders have found some great facts to make your brain hurt this week, so roll a story. Hello, my name is Jacob Pitkevich. And my name is Nick Schroeder. And today we will tell you seven facts about chicken nuggets, and this was requested by Skylar Paplin. Number one, the inventor of chicken nuggets was Robert C. Baker. Number two, some chicken nuggets are made with beans or vegetables for people that are vegetarians. Number three, the largest chicken nugget ever made weighed 51 point one pounds and was a meter long. Number four, the average American eats about 50 chicken nuggets per year. Number five, McDonald's began selling chicken nuggets in 1980. The average chicken nugget is made of less than 50 percent of real chicken meat. The most chicken chicken ever eaten under three minutes was 24 nuggets. If you have any suggestions for us, email us at 
nshroad114at.d15.org and jpitkip497 at d15.org. Bye, I'm Mess, and have a great day. Hot food, great service, awkward reviews. It can only mean one thing. Our food critics are back again with a new restaurant. Hello, I'm Mess. We are your official restaurant critics. And today we'll be criticizing Olive Garden, home of the breadsticks. Olive Garden is a popular Italian restaurant. They serve stuff that you will find in Italy, like spaghetti, meatballs, chicken parmesan, and of course breadsticks and tons of more food. They have cla very classy and wonderful service. My favorite is the chicken alfredo. Same dude! <laughs> Email me at gquetto491 at d15.org. And me at j s a c c h i t 350 at d15.org to tell us what restaurant we should criticize next. Bye, Bye MMS, and have a great weekend. Bored with the news? Need the funny? Then worry not. It's your time to laugh with this week's JFL. Hey guys, it's Kyla, and today I have a special guest with me, one of my bestest sixth grade friends, Emma. Hey, MMS. Me and Kyla call each other grandma. Hey, grandma. Hi, grandma. So we will be doing one special grandma fail with a bunch of random fails. So, on with the videos. Number three is the perfect sled fail. Number two, the corgi and the sand fail. And lastly, and lastly the, the grandma fail! Thanks, MMS, and remember to get some Febreze and stay fresh. Our last story is our newest story, where we give you a playlist of music for any event so you will always know the best song for any situation. Hi, MMS. Today we are going to be telling you our 2018 spring playlist. It might as well be Spring by Frank Sinatra. Well, be spring. Can't stop the spring by the flaming lips. Singing in the rain by G. Kelly. Singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. Daydream and Blue by I Monster. I dream of you amid the flowers. Today by Zero Seven. Today, the words don't mean enough for us. Goodbye by Unknown. And have a good weekend. Stay classy, MMS, and have, and have a, a great weekend. weekend. We finally finished before 11.30. <laughs>
Hello, I am student representative Ashley Scott here at MMS and I would like to tell you about positive office referrals, which we will be starting Tuesday, March 19th, every Tuesday through April. With the referral, you can send a student down to the office because they did something great. Like this student right here. Oh, let's see how this plays out now that our teacher has a positive referral sheet. Office. You're going to the office for something positive. Derek, way to go. You're going to the office for something positive. Go ahead. This is great. With referring students to the office for positive things, you can turn your classroom into this. Tuesday, starting March 19th. Yay!